Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3 with the Black Ice sub mod and version 10.33 which I have just downloaded and installed. Now then, moving swiftly on, um, I have some bad news at the onset of this video. The UK campaign um, is, I think, over. Uh, the reason for this is that the game keeps crashing pretty much every time I finish recording, or close to when I finish recording. It's it's really tough to keep it stable now. I I think there might be a few contributing factors to that. Uh, I started the UK campaign on version 10.3, uh, and then I was able to migrate the save over to 10.32, um, which, to be honest, is never a great thing. You don't want to do that. You want to try, even if it's save game compatible, you want to try and keep your saves merged into one game type for as, or one game version for as long as possible. Uh, so that's the first issue with that. And we're also in 1944 as well, which is chronic for having the game start to sort of destabilize. So yeah, and there's a lot going on in the campaign. There's fronts in Italy, Germany, France now, Belgium. The Soviet front has got all of that being dealt with. We've got the front against Japan, all the stuff going on with Japan. There's no end to the amount of issues that we have there, or, or the amount of things the game is processing. So, yeah, I think the UK campaign, unfortunately, might have, have kicked the bucket. But the UK campaign was great. I was really happy with it, and I'm glad that it's over. The UK campaign's first video is the most watched video on my channel. It's got something like 1,500 views, which is amazing. So the fact that, that I was able to do that, I have no complaints about the UK campaign and it lasted to be honest a lot longer than I thought it would because when I had to switch over different game versions I thought that to be honest the UK campaign was scuppered then when I was getting all of those crashes during you know the stuff in Italy and you look back on that campaign and think to yourselves wow you know we the way that we conquered Italy and and took them out of the war mega early, the, the invasion of Germany, even the defence of France I was actually quite proud of. We we extracted our troops really efficiently there and held a few different lines. We didn't let France fall over. We we defended we defended Norway. We the pinprick strategy that we applied has defeated Germany because we have invaded them and they're out of the war now. And to be honest we would have knocked out Japan as well eventually. It just would have taken a bit more time. So, that leads me on to the next question. In the spirit of Hearts of Iron 3 and the fact that 10.33 has been released about a month ago, uh, I want to do a new campaign. But who should I play? Let's have a little run through the options. Now, uh, a while ago, I think it was Mike G gave me a very interesting option of playing China. So I am putting China on the, the ballot box as an option. I think they could be fun as a little experiment. I'm not sure what I would do with them. I'd probably try and annex uh, the Guanzi clique uh, and Yuan and Zabai, uh, Zaibi Sanma. Um, but yeah, I, I think this could be an interesting campaign, especially if we take the Guanzi clique and we, we have to hold off Japan. That, that could be fun. So that's option one. Option two is right next door and Japan. Now, I've had some issues playing Japan in the past on Hearts of Iron 3. Uh, it's not the most stable campaign in my experience, but again, it could be really big fun. This way we get to do some naval stuff, so we'll be invading Guam, um, um, Wake Island, Midway, and then Hawaii. So yeah, there's a few different options there. We can invade into the India, which would be quite fun, and it would be something different to playing in Europe again. So I think I sort of favour playing one of these two because it is different to playing in Europe. Uh, so those are options A and B. Option three is to either play France or Poland. I'm making these joint options because I, I think they offer similar campaigns. Poland is attacked in 1939 and the, the aim of the campaign will be to hold off Germany. An attempt to just hold the river line, probably like this, and then counterattack. The similar thing really with the French campaign, you're just meant to hold a line, but it gives you a little bit more options. You can probably invade Italy, You've got a few more naval things, defending against Japan could be fun as well. So yeah, that's the, the other side of the option. But yeah, that, I'm, I'm leaving that as one option because I, I feel like they play similar sort of campaigns. And then finally, the last option 
is going to be Finland. Yes. So I felt like I quite like playing Finland. They're one of my favorite game or favorite nations to play when it comes to minor powers because they get quite a few decent buffs and things. So yeah, they're the last option. But again, it won't be the most crazy campaign in the world. It'll just be holding off. So yeah, China, China to, to quote Trump, Japan, Poland or France or Finland. Those are the options I'm giving. I did debate Romania because they've got a few expansion opportunities, but it's just another Balkans country. Uh, I think I'm done with Europe for a while. If, you know, I, I'm happy to play Poland or France for a challenge, but I, I don't, I'm not sure another campaign in this area would be good. And then I never played the USA. So I'm sorry, guys. Anyone who wants to see a USA campaign, it's not happening because it's like playing the game on easy mode. Okay, I think that is everything. Um, thank you very much for watching this Faction Vote episode. Again, I'm sorry about the UK campaign, but it's becoming very difficult to actually play that game without having to replay the entire month before. And I could change the autosave and things, but it, it'll just end up making the game run even worse, and I'll probably just end up getting more crashes. Um, and I think the UK campaign has had a good run. We've done extremely well in it, and I think it's time for a new challenge. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the episode that is picked or the faction that is picked. Please feel free to comment, like, subscribe. I don't normally say those things, but some comments on this video just to sort of give me some options on, on what you want to see me do. I think that would be great. So thanks again. Bye-bye.